Hi there Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your July 10th through July 30th love reading um, for July 2017. This is intended for a general audience. If it doesn't resonate with you, please check your moon sign or your rising sign. Um, I want to thank you to all my subscribers. Um, I appreciate that. This is for July 10th through the 30th. 2017. This is for Libra. What do you have for Libra? What does Libra need to know about love? July 10th through July 30th. Ooh, do you see that? We're going to go with it, too. Oh, oh, darn it all. Having a hard time here. My ears are ringing, just for you, Libra. Okay, we're going to get a couple more. Looks like you've been waiting for something, and finally, and this is a love reading, you've been waiting, you know, and it finally might be coming, and I know that I've been, this, this is like a broken record, so, you know, it looks, I mean, but that's what that first card is, and that second card is something that you have been waiting for as well, um, I see that something is right around the corner, all right? Something that affects your security. Looks like some kind of, uh, you're going to get some kind of communication, it looks like to me. You're going to get some kind of communication that you've been waiting for for quite some time. Uh... And it's what you've been wishing. Yeah, it's your wish. Absolutely. And it seems like it's been a long time. It has been a long time coming. We all know that. It has been. Um, and it's been... <laughs> Hopefully it's happened for some of you already. It should have. Some of you should have already received that communication you've been waiting for. Um, Look at that. Yeah. You've been in isolation just a, a tad bit too long. Maybe. This might be who's contacting you. This is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have Capricorn here again. So, this is for July 10th through July 30th. Um, big change is coming. It, it, it is. I know it is. And I think it's because you have started to heal. You, you have started to heal yourself. Okay? Um, It looks like somebody has, uh, somebody has walked away. 
Somebody has walked away from a situation which has allowed them to heal and start a new journey. And it's something that has been needed to happen for a long time now. All right. Somebody has taken back, it's probably you, has taken back control of your life. You've taken back your own power. Okay, and you've decided to move on, which is a, which is kind of like the biggest healing um, tactic I've ever heard. You know, when you finally decide, okay, I'm done, I'm going to move on, you start to heal very, very fast. And that's when your new beginning starts. That's when your new transformation begins. And here, you know, is something that you've been waiting for. You've been told to do this okay you've been told either by your inner guide or by somebody else probably both you know that it's time to move on it's time to move on and perhaps you finally have and now things are starting to change for you I hope that's the case um, perhaps there's a new opportunity coming right up and this is a love reading mind you a new opportunity with somebody that you hadn't seen in the past or or maybe you don't even see it yet you know so this is an opportunity of love that's coming that you are not aware of you're just not aware of it yet um, perhaps you're not aware of it because you're focusing too much on your work okay you might be putting more too much time into work um, so it's, it's kind of, uh, inhibiting your love life. Um, it looks some, like some kind of, um, answer is going to come to you. There's probably going to be some communication, probably from a Capricorn or another earth sign, Taurus or Virgo. <laughs> it's very prominent. It's probably an earth sign that you're, you're going to hear from, um, and it leads to your wishes being fulfilled, okay? It does. It leads to being your wishes being fulfilled after a time of being alone, okay? You've been alone and you've been, it's been unstable. You just, it's, it hasn't been good, okay? But, but you've started to heal. You've started to heal. You're concentrating on your work. You're not thinking about it as much. Um, you're becoming more spiritual. You're really um, loving yourself more. I mean, you are. Maybe you took some advice and from some previous readings. I know that I had some, and one of them was love yourself first. This was this was a few readings back, and it looks like you are. It looks like you are. It makes me so happy. Oh, thank you, God. All right, that is great. Yep, looks good. It doesn't mean that this person, whoever it is, some kind of truth. Maybe maybe you're cutting this person out. I mean, we have a sword up here, you know? And when you think about Libra and you think about the Justice card, if the Justice card were here, which is Libra, which represents Libra, it's about making something final. Maybe you finally cut a cord? I don't know. I mean, there's a deep connection with this person, a... a a cord connected to this person, okay? So maybe you've cut the cord. I don't know. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you haven't cut the cord. That's just one scenario. Maybe you received some communication from this person finally. Finally. Now that they've seen that you have started to love yourself, they want you. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Isn't that the way the world turns? You have to love yourself first for it to come. There's, it's just the way it is. It is. And I see that you are. So, whew, wow. Never did turn the hourglass over. So this is for the end of July, July 10th through the 30th. I don't know if there's 31 days. I decided to do you guys first for this um, segment. Um, because, you know, I've, I've had uh, some problems <laughs> with this full moon energy that's been killing me. But it's over now. Um, thank God. 
So anyway, I put you guys at the top of the list. Oh, I got some cards upside down in here. Hmm. Oh, that one went flying. And it did turn over. Oh, it's upside down. I thought it turned over. I don't know. I'm not even going to look at it yet. I'm going to let it be a surprise. It flew out and turned over. Hmm. I wonder what it is. It's right over this. Healing. It's over your big change. Deciding to love yourself. It's, it's where you start to love yourself. Let's look at it. I gotta see what it is. And <laughs> if you did too, huh? Um, Knight of Cups. Emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, contemplative. Falling in love or writing proposals. The need to balance emotions. An invitation to a social event. This is the Knight of Cups. This is Prince Charming in my book. Um, that's who it is. It's Prince Charming. What comes in to save the day? Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? But that's what he does. That's who this is. This is Prince Charming. But you might not even see him coming. But you may see him coming. You may see him coming. But you may not even consider it. But you may. Or you may you may not see it's conspiring right now in whatever it's whatever the word is it's it's cooking all right it's cooking in the universe right now so you don't know that it's coming that's what I'm trying to say it's about love anyway falling in love that's about loving yourself it really is you love yourself thank you God oh there we go another one. Oh, this one's pretty good too beautiful The sun. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. This is about warmth, vibrance, summer, happiness, vitality, renewal. I mean, it is. This is what you're going through. This is what you're going through. And because you're going through it, this person might might see it. This person that you're waiting on might see that you're starting to love yourself so much and be like, oh, wow, that's pretty attractive. Yep. She's taken back, or he, she or he is, has taken back control of her life. She's taken back control of her emotions. Oh, my God. She or he. Capricorn, most likely Virgo or Taurus. Could be a uh, water sign. But, or an Aquarius. Or a Scorpio. We have an Aries down here. But that's an energy. I don't think that's a person. It could be for some of you. That's an energy. Taking back control of your life. You're in control. Yep. Loving yourself. Mind, body, and spirit. Whole. Whole. Beautiful. Love it. Ah, this new person. It, it, uh, you know... It's a difficult one. I think it's a new person. But it could be somebody coming back and starting over like it's brand new. Okay? It could be. 
it could be that's how it would have to be anyway that if somebody comes back they it has to start over brand new which is hard but it can be done getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens oh this is going right over here and over this Capricorn uh, Taurus Virgo okay look at this it is it's a Capricorn Taurus Virgo that's my that's my I would say for 90% of you that's what it is that's my guess I mean there's a there's a chance it could be somebody another sign but that's my that's my uh, thoughts on that one and I think this person and for a lot of you and y'all I don't know about 50 50 I think this is somebody new and then the other part of it I think it's not because it could be somebody you already know do you want to see the card I thought you did soulmate yes this is your soulmate you already knew that and if it's somebody new you'll know it right away you will it's probably a twin flame it probably is a lot of times I consider this a twin flame or a soulmate somebody that you are connected to like I explained earlier with the cord it's somebody that you are connected to all right you are One more. Oh, this sums it right up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is what I was looking for because I said, remember when I said 50 50? I was like, hmm, you know, I was kind of iffy about this because I could see this. This is what I could see. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Oh. Yeah, that's who this person is. But down here, this this choice in love that's not being seen. Okay, but you you are healing. You're loving yourself. So maybe you know you're doing this. Maybe you're doing this finally, and that's where your new journey begins. You know, and I feel think I feel like you are. This could be somebody new. That's very exciting. All right, we're going to see what else. We're going to try to get two more. I'm not sure if I want to stop here or keep going. I mean, this is a pretty good message. I think that you guys are doing great. I think that a lot of you are healing immensely. And I think I, I'm pretty sure I told you a few times back that you needed to love yourself. And I'm, I'm telling you what, a lot of you are. And it's very, very attractive because you're already beautiful. You already are. You're ruled by Venus. I mean, you're already beautiful. And when you love yourself, it's the, the beauty, like, is <sighs> explosive, okay? Wow. So, this is what I have for you. I guess I really don't need to go any further. I really don't need to go any further. I think that either somebody, um, I think it's somebody new. Doesn't mean that I'm right. It doesn't mean, you know, I, it could be somebody that you um, are with and you're going to start over brand, or that you have been with. And because they see how well, much you've changed that they decide to, that they want, they want you back. That could be the case. Um, either way you're going to get some communication this month okay within the next 20 days this is what I see that you are going to get some communication some kind of truth is going to come out regarding this situation via communication that's the only way truth comes out huh communication from the person
so that's what I have I'm not gonna say anything else because I don't want to keep going I feel like it's all right here why there's nothing more to say so um, thank you so much for watching me thanks for your comments your likes your subscribes thank you for the bookings and um, I'll talk to you soon <laughs>